Alrighty, welcome back guys. Today I thought we'd take a quick look at the scrap TV I got. This was a, a find on the side of the road just up the street from my house. <clears throat> I think I got it summer before last and I've never tried it until uh, just the other day I plugged it in. And what I got was a power light for a short amount of time and then it was gone and it didn't it didn't even try to fire up. So She's dead, as I kind of expected. I think it's a 43-inch plasma. Uh, we'll have a look at the backside and check it out. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, this is the Toshiba 42H86, so 42-inch, I guess. I've gone ahead and taken the screws all out to save us some time, because, well, that's boring. And we'll get a look in here see what we're up against first things first i think we'll just do a, a little visual around and see what we see maybe i'll take you guys off the tripod and we'll just do a scan let's do that okay we have our line in down here our 110 volt in goes through this board here and then up to here and then it looks like this board is maybe our makes all of our different rails. We've got 5 volt out here, ground, 5 volt, VC, and VS adjust trimmer pot there. Looks like this looks like maybe where the most of our voltages are made. Over here, this looks like, I don't know the first thing about plasmas by the way, or, or this TV at all. Um, so I'm learning as I go with these things. This looks like the output to the display unit itself. So I'm guessing this is probably a high voltage section for that display. Beats me. Down here, we see some damage. This could be from this thing living out in my garage. Uh, maybe got some moisture in it. Maybe it's out on the street longer than I thought. Maybe it got rained on because our potting here has got some rust on it. So I don't know. This thing might be hooped. And then we've got a shield over this area here for RF shielding, I guess. And then over on the far side, much, ah, come on, lace, much similar to the side we just looked at. Another kind of display driver. A lot of caps. I'm not sure what's up with that. A lot of caps. So that might be of interest. But first things first, if you see anything sticking out here, you just go ahead and you just yell it out at me. You type it in the comments and you tell me what you see. But other than that corrosion there, I'm not seeing anything else super obvious. We have a little bit of corrosion on our line in there. But I think we're going to concentrate on this area. What I do see, it might not come across on camera terribly well, but this cap's got a little bit of bulging to it ever so small amount so right away i'm gonna i always suspect caps it's always the caps these two actually look like there's a tiny bit of bulging there too now what i did is i fired this up and i had this case off just just a little while ago just uh, uh, a day ago when i first tried it what i did is i just heated this area with a heat gun to see whether it would power up and it didn't that's an old trick um, caps you'll notice um, you'll, you'll see quite commonly tv sets and monitors will fail after a power outage they won't power back up that's because they get a chance to cool off and the, they're not good enough to work from cold uh, they don't have the capacity anymore when cold so an old trick is to just warm them up uh, it didn't make a difference on this so I think we'll test some voltages. Okay, we're powered up, plugged in. I think what we'll do is we're just gonna go ahead and measure some voltages. Now, I'm gonna try and get this so you can see my meter at the same time as me, but this might not work out so well, we'll see. Okay, first off, we have volts AC, so we're gonna go to our line in here and let's just make sure that we're getting 120 volts to this board. And we are not. What? 
that might be a little easier. Okay, we got 120 volts to there. Let's take a break one second and plug my microphone in. Okay, you should be able to hear me better now. Okay, so we got 120 volts to there. 120 volts to there. So I was gonna say this can't be a failure of that simple, can it? What's going on? No damage on that wire. 120 volts to there. Is it just a problem with I'm not reaching the terminals? Sure feels like I am. Oh, there I am. Okay, so I just wasn't probing good enough. Okay, 120 volts. We're good there. Now let's go to check our DC rails. So here's a ground here. This is ground here. And then 5 volt control is labeled the red wire right above it. Nothing. Dead. Dead are in a door now. All right. Um... We've got ground on the blues and five volt on the reds up above it. And we are probed deader than a door now. Nothing. Let's go up here. Ground's black. This is VC here. Nothing. Deader than a door now. All right. I think we're cooking with gas now. Okay, let's kill that before we shock ourselves. One last thing. This output down to here in this kind of yucky looking board. Let's, uh, let's kill it. Um, I don't suspect anything down here is needed to, to make these rails active. I'm just gonna mark this one with an X because there's no wire into there. Go ahead and unplug these just just for giggles to make sure we're not drawing anything low there and go back we will plug back in it would be helpful to have a wiring schematic for this so if anybody's got a wiring schematic I'll take it that'd be awesome but I think we can get by here with just doing some measuring no, still dead. Deader than a door now. Okay. Pause the video. Got a visitor. <laughs> Wife just came in to see whether I wanted a coffee. I finished coffee hours ago. Okay. We're going to go ahead and unplug those just for giggles. So this line's going over to that, that display driver over here. So I've gone ahead and unplugged both of those and we'll just measure them real quick and just see whether that anything there is dragging it low. Not to say it couldn't have dragged it low and then gone away and now it's hosed, but just for kicks, nothing. Nothing on either 5 volt rail. So I think what we'll do is we'll follow this up. We'll do another video. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and take this part, take this in. I think what we'll do is we'll do it in the shop because I think we can work with this inside. Um, we can probably even power it up inside if we wanted to, but uh, we'll do some testing indoors in the bench. And uh, if you see something here, shout it out in the comments down below. Let me know what you see, but uh, we'll see if we can get this thing fixed. I think this would be great. Wouldn't this be a wonderful unit to have a Raspberry Pi on and like open Elec or Cody running out here and I can watch, uh, I can have movies and stuff in the background while I'm working on stuff or have YouTube videos playing or I don't know, might be kind of cool. We'll carry this on in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Click a thumbs up if you like seeing me repair stuff, uh, fail at it sometimes. Who knows? We might not be able to fix this, but we're going to try. Cheers.